In this lesson, we're going to solve one-step subtraction equations. If you're following me on algebraclass.com, then you'll know that when we talked about addition equations, we went over four different things that we need to do when solving any equation. And I'm going to quickly go over those four things. The first thing is to get the variable by itself on one side of the equation. That's our ultimate goal. And in order to do that, we need to use opposite operations because we need to get rid of a few terms. The most important rule when solving any equation is whatever you do to one side of the equation, you must do to the other side of the equation. That's a must because we have to keep the equations balanced. And then you can always go back and check your answer by substituting the value back into the original equation to check and make sure that it's correct. So as we take a look at this first example, which is x minus 4 equals 7, you might be thinking to yourself, well, that's really easy because I know that 11 minus 4 is 7, so I know that x equals 11. And you're right. This is a mental math type of equation. We can pretty much do this mentally. Our final answer should look like x equals 11. And that's what I mean when I say you want to get the variable by itself on the one side of the equation. So on one side we have x, and on the other side we have its numerical value. We're going to go through the steps to solving this equation, even though you probably did it mentally, because I want you to learn those steps so that you can apply that to any equation, especially the ones that can't be done mentally. So in order to do that, we're going to bring down the left-hand side, which contains the variable. And I'm going to draw a line here because I know that I need to get rid of this minus 4 in order to get x by itself. And I need to do something mathematically. So I'm going to leave a blank there, and I'm going to bring down equals 7, and I'm going to leave another blank. And the reason that I'm leaving two blanks is because I know that I need to do something here to get rid of minus 4. And whatever I do to one side of the equation, I must do to the other side in order to keep it balanced. So I'm going to draw two blanks to remind me that I need to do the same thing on both sides. Then I'm going to look at what I want to get rid of. I want to get rid of minus 4. And I'm going to use opposite operations. So that means that I need to look at this sign and say, this is subtraction, and the opposite of subtraction is addition. And then I'm going to add the number that I want to get rid of, which is 4. Since I added 4 to the left-hand side, I need to add 4 to the right-hand side because I need to keep it balanced. Then, when I go to simplify, I'm going to think of this as negative 4 plus 4. And negative 4 plus 4 is 0. That's how I get x by itself because x plus 0 is just x. Then I'm going to simplify here, 7 plus 4 is 11. So I end up with x equals 11 as my final answer, which is exactly what I knew I needed to come up with since I knew that I could do this mentally. But these are the steps that you'll take when solving any subtraction equation.